What up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I'm truly, truly grateful. Uh, for all those who have been coming back to watch my videos, thank you so much. And if you are new to this channel, please do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can grow this YouTube channel together. On this channel, what we do is motorcycle vlogging and the showing of places that I visit. So if you want to be part of the family, please subscribe to the channel so we can grow the channel together. So guys, as you can probably see, I'm in a park somewhere and it's kind of windy. We've just gone past the typhoon that hit Shanghai a few, a few days ago. And it's kind of calm, but there's still a bit of wind here and there. And I apologize if you can hear some whistling sound through the microphone. And I can't place my camera anywhere because it's windy and I'm, I'm scared that it might fall off. So I'm just going to hold it and hope that it does a good job. So guys, so this video is going to be a, a comparison of the CB400X and the CB500X uh, 2019 version onwards. So if you have been following my channel, a while back I did a walk around video of the Honda CB400X in the showroom. And... A lot of people seem to to be interested in the bike so today i decided to uh, do this video to compare the two bikes that's the 400 uh, x and the honda cb 500 x uh, 2019 and upwards so let's go ahead and see the first comparison between these two bikes now before i go ahead let me just say that it's going to be this video is going to be a visual comparison between the two bikes if you look online, there's a ton of reading material about the two bikes and uh, you have all the specifications. So I'm not going to uh, delve on that. Uh, if you're interested in knowing the specific technical specifications, you can look it up online. There's an abundance of information. So this video is going to be mainly a visual comparison of the two bikes. So the first thing I'll talk about is the weight of the bikes. So the 500X comes in at about 197 kilograms that's curb weight and the 400x is just a kilogram less at 196 kilograms so in terms of weight these two bikes are very similar um, but if you put these two bikes head to head obviously the four, 500x is going to win just because it's got that extra power uh, from the engine next I'll talk about the front wheel size so the 500x comes with a 19 inch front wheel and the 400X comes in with a 17 inch front wheel. So if you look at them visually, um, the 500X is a bit jacked up at the, in the front part, whilst the 400X is kind of like a road bike sort of um, height uh, in the front part of the bike. So uh, when you're riding down the road, obviously the 500X is going to perform better. It's going to do better on bumps on the road and undulations than the 400X because it's just got that bigger wheel. Next, I'll talk about the windshield. So while the windshield from a distance looks similar, that of the 500X is pointed in the bottom part, while the 400X has this cutout, which you will see in, in, the, in the pictures that are showing on the screen. So that's the only difference that I see. But in terms of the general shape and design, they look very similar. And both windshields are adjustable but you can adjust them on the fly. You have to stop the bike and you need tools to do that. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not one of those fancy um, windshields that you can adjust whilst you're riding the bike. With this one, you have to stop. Most likely you have to do that before you hop on the bike to ride. And this is for both bikes. So the 400X and the 500X both have adjustable windscreens, but you have to stop to make the adjustment and you need tools for that. Mostly Allen keys but you can adjust them if you want to. So both bikes also come with DRLs, that's daytime running lights. Uh, so while that of the 500X is kind of built inside the, the center of the headlight unit itself, that on the 400X is kind of a top down running from the top to the bottom on, the, on both sides of the headlamps. So that's one thing to notice. So while that of the 500 is kind of built in the middle, that of the 400x is it runs on the side of the headlamp so that's another difference you're going to notice between these two bikes another subtle difference you will see if you look closely is the beak um, i don't know if you can see it so th this beak talking about this beak that you have on the 500x so that the one on the 400x is a bit wider 
whereas that on the 500X is kind of pointed. So it's not a major thing, but it's a subtle uh, difference you can see if you look closely. Next, I'll move on to talk about the seat height. And this is very important for anyone who wants to purchase a motorcycle. How do you feel sitting on the seat? Do your feet touch the ground or do you have to tiptoe? It's very, very important uh, considering the weight of the bike and, and many other factors. Because if you stop at stop lights and uh, you're sitting on the bike, are you going to be comfortable? Are you going to be able to control the bike while still sitting on the bike? So uh, the 500X comes in with a seat of about 83 centimeters. Um, that's the height. And the 400X has a seat height of eight, 80 centimeters. So there is just three centimeters difference. And that can be a major difference depending on how, how, how tall you are. So uh, considering that, if you are a shorter rider, the 400X might be the best option. But if you are taller, I'm about 183 centimeters tall. That's about six feet tall. And the 500 is just fine for me. But if I were just a little bit shorter, I think the 400X with an 80 centimeter seat height will be perfect for me. Uh, especially if you're commuting and you don't have riding boots. Usually the riding boots will give you a little bit of leverage so you can uh, flat foot or plant your feet on the ground when you have to stop light. But if you don't have your riding boots and you have ordinary shoes, then it's going to be a problem if the seat height is too high for you. So this is something to consider. The 400X comes in with 80 centimeters seat height and the 500 comes with 83 centimeters. The next thing I'll talk about is the chain slack adjustments uh, setup that is on the 400X. So the one on the 400X looks like it was borrowed from the previous generation. That's a pre-2019 generation of the Honda CB500X. Whilst the 2019 and onwards uh, 500X comes with a more modern setup, similar to what you have on other major bikes. Um, so that's another difference you will notice in terms of chain slack adjustment. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to adjust the chain anyways. It's just a setup that's different. Next, I'll move on to talk about the brake lights. So while the 500X has that classic sort of triangular shaped single unit uh, rear lights or the brake lights uh, with LEDs in the inside, the 400X comes with this split system where you have a left and right split in the middle by some sort of a plastic panel. So that's another thing you're going to notice. But I believe that even though it's split, it's going to be synchronized. It's just probably a design thing. So that's another difference you're going to notice in the rear end. The 500X has this single unit um, brake light, whereas the 400X has the split system. Now, yet another difference you're going to notice is the color of the engine. So whilst the 500X, uh, the cylinder part of the engine block has comes in silver color, that of the 400X comes in black. So just one, I'm sure they did this just to show a difference in the, uh, uh, the color. So it's easily recognizable which bike you're looking at. So one thing to note, 500X cylinder part of the engine comes in silver color, whilst the 400X comes in black. Another difference you're gonna notice between these two bikes is the dashboard. So while they look very similar, the 400X comes with a much brighter sort of bluish underscreen lighting, uh, which is very, very bright. Whereas the 500X has this less conspicuous sort of underscreen lighting. And I know a lot of owners of the 500X uh, 2019 onwards have complained about how it is difficult to see when there's bright light outside. I don't, I think it's, I think they're right, but I don't really see that to be much of a problem if it's, it works well most of the time. But I can imagine if you ride in very sunny conditions all the time, yes, that can be a problem. But for me, it's worked quite well so far. So I don't really have too much complaints about that. And let me also quickly say that the info placement on the dash is slightly different on both bikes, but they both basically have almost the same sort of information. One thing I noticed on the 400X was that it had an extra uh, info about the battery that the 500X doesn't have. So it, it, on, the, on the dash, you can see the battery voltage, 
but that is not available on the 500X. I don't know if you have it on your bike, on your 500X, depending on the market you are. If you do, let us know in the comment section. But the one that I have, and in this region, you don't have a battery power indicator or a battery voltage indicator on the dash. So next, let's talk about the handlebar. So the handlebar on the new 400X kind of looks like it's borrowed from the pre-2019 version of the 500X. So it has this groove and the bar is thinner than that of the 500X new generation. So the 500X has a, a slightly thicker uh, handlebar and it's also kind of like stretched out and it doesn't have that deep groove that the 500X used to have, which has now been used for the 400X. And I think that wide handlebar kind of gives the rider more control on the front end of the bike. Um, I don't know, opinions are like noses, but from my experience, I think the wider and thicker handlebar looks nicer and it gives better control in the front end of the bike. So next we're going to talk about their knob control. So uh, while the 500 rocks those classic gray um, knobs that Honda has been doing for a long time and, and BMW and some other bikes as well, which gives it that unique Honda identity. The 400X comes mostly with uh, generic black and red sort of knobs. So the kill switch is always in red uh, with most bikes. But the other knobs such as the horn and the lights and all the other knobs come in black like many other bikes. Uh, the only gray knob that I saw on the particular 400X that I saw in the showroom was the hazard light. But apart from that, every other thing was generic. And the buttons didn't feel as premium and as solid as that on the 500X. So that's one thing to take note of. Uh, you're not gonna get that uh, classic uh, Honda feel with the knobs on the 400X, but with the 500X, it's the ones that you're familiar with, if you know what the 500X has always had. Now, the last thing I'd like to talk about is the front fork travel. And this is very important when you're talking about adventure bikes, especially the front part, because the forks need to travel a bit longer to give you that control uh, on undulating surfaces and on rocky roads and B roads. And the front forks on the 500X have a travel of 5.9 inches, whilst that on the 400X has a 5.5 inch travel. So this clearly tells you that the 500X is going to perform a lot better off-road than the 400X. It's not exactly um, G BMW GS or Africa Twin sort of terrain, but just because of that difference in the fork travel, you're going to have better control and better comfort and better off-road usability uh, with a 500X than you would have with a 400X. All right, guys, I've exhausted my list. And it, as you can see, it's getting dark here. So I just wanted to bring you the differences between these two bikes. So if you're considering getting a CB um, with this, I hope you can decide if you want the 400X or the 500X. And you can see the visuals in this video as well to help you decide better. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this video was useful. If it was useful to you, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have any. And if you are new here to this channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. So guys, so I see you in the next video. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace.